Yes. <laughs> Uh, there's lots uh, of enemies, lots of things going on, so, yes. Like, yeah, seriously. Well, I'm, I'm glad at least my terrible polka story made up most of that, uh, that lore. <laughs> made up one entire video of this series, of this set. <laughs> Nothing. Good, just one entire video of me talking nonsense. <laughs> About polka and... All, all manner of other things insane. It all works <laughs> out. Good. Ah, I, I've uh. started uh, employing tactics in, in this area too, so I can't just charge at monsters this time. I have to, have to plan things. Ooh. I know. Plan. Strategy. In my strategy RPG? Who would have thought? Mind game designers. Get it together. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, speak, speaking of game designers and stuff, I've been, I, I've been like coming through a lot, a lot, a lot of different type of tabletop games lately. Hmm. See, I can do suck a Segway. Yes, yeah, you can. <laughs> but, but you can't. Suck but it. you can't ride a Segway because you aren't, because you aren't allowed to. I'm also not rich and adorable. Yes. Well. <laughs> No one looks good on a Segway, I'm sorry. You... Everyone looks like a ginormous nerd. You haven't seen me on my Segway. Everyone on a uh, no, you'd look like a ginormous nerd. Everyone on a Segway looks like a ginormous nerd. There is no getting away from this fact. You could be the coolest dude on this planet. On a Segway, you might as well uh, it be just in a pocket protector and just huge cartoonish braces. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> insulting my appearance, Sahoni. I truly appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Right. Anyways, back to the non-dorky subject of, ta of, of tabletop, tabletop games. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. <laughs> On this video about video games. Yep. In this channel anyways. where I play video games. <laughs> anyways, on uh, <laughs> I've been stumbling through a lot of tabletop games because I have a game I specifically want to run. I want to try running like a game based off uh, BPRD and Hellboy and all that stuff. Uh, which... what, uh, what, uh, what does BPR stand for for the P uh, 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 B B BPRD? Oh, BPRD. Yes. Uh, what does that stand for You're for the, for the people? Paranormal Research and Defense. Alrighty. Yep. It's the kind of imaginary government agent that takes care of supernatural threats and stuff in Hellboy and stuff. It's, it's pretty neat. I, I thought it would be a cool uh, thing to run, but as such, I've been thumbing through a lot of my uh, the games that I have and kind of going like, no, I like this aspect of this game, I don't like this aspect of this game, etc, etc, etc. And, um, it got me to thinking, I don't think I know, but what is your favorite tabletop? Game? My favorite tabletop? Um. Yes, or favorite tabletop. Hmm. It's actually a really good question. Um. Hmm. Well, I I've I've really um not played a huge variety, believe it or not. Um, I've played a lot of the ones I've well, the ones I have played. Um, mo uh, uh, I started out. Well, I'll, just, I'll give a, I'll give my own little brief story in history here. I'll, uh, I'll talk for a little while since you talked a lot in the last section of this video. It's fair. Uh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, I started, out, started, started doing tabletop when I was, I think, 15. When, um, uh, when one of my friends at the time, um, he had just arrived at, uh, at the school I went to. And uh, he introduced me to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to D and D uh, 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 three three point five. Uh, it was heavily like uh, 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 heavily homebrewed and stuff at, at the time, but it was still very fun. We went back to more traditional three uh, 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 three five D and D after that. Um, I didn't really get a lot of exposure outside of. D and D, more or less, up up up, up until I got uh, in, uh, invol involved in the Skype group that I'm in now with Sahoni and Karu, Ko. She's been in the video of mine, I think, right? Uh, the oh oh yeah, uh, the D and D online. She was in that. Yep. Um, and like Todd and who uh, Todd who's a dick and all that. Um, <laughs> I they know that I don't hate Todd. Don't worry, Sahoni. They know I don't. They know I don't hate Todd. <laughs> 
He's, 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 All he's right, just an ass. <laughs> but anyway, um, in that group. Um, then we started doing, uh, d uh, d uh, d uh, doing, like, doing Shadowrun and um, 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 more, more recently Pathfinder, um, and there's scattered other games along the way. Um, and I've found that I do, I do enjoy, like, story-based games a little more. Yeah, the games are more about, like, character development and character growth more than, like, a dungeon crawl, for example. So, stuff that's more in-depth than D&D &D about that. D&D has it, don't get me wrong, but, uh, 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 I was trying, I was trying what would I'd actually be if the game was IRL and it kind of fits and describes me perfectly anyway, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. games like those are the ones that I've sort of fallen into being a bigger fan of than, totally. than just the traditional dungeon crawl kind of thing. Um, but uh, 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 lately, uh, lately, Pathfinder, um, that's sort of moved up in the in uh, 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 because quite literally, it's just a, d a different company took D and D three five and said, "Okay, what was good? What can we what what can we do better? Okay, let's do that instead of make." Yeah, of also, uh, the people who make Pathfinder actually used to publish old Dragon magazine. Which had all like that. Here's some cool supplements and races and classes and and monsters you can use, and it would like come out every month. And they were the people behind that, so they do have like quite a history with 3.5 and stuff. Yeah, and it I, I definitely shows with the, the with the, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the content they've made for for their own game. And I I like that. It's this uh, 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 it isn't D and D uh, uh, D and D four, which I've never played and really. Honestly, have no intent of doing so because it's a because it is a miniatures game now. I I have I don't hate it as much as mo uh, most people do, but I do I I do have strong opinions and feelings about it. <laughs> Very strong ones. Um, but yeah, is is so is Werewolf your favorite? Like I or is there's like Pathfinder? I I want like I want to know like, 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 like this game is my favorite. I would play this over yes. other games. On, honestly, yes. from like I, I would I I I I'm leaning more toward games like Werewolf, like naming Werewolf in particular. But I haven't played enough of it to, and I haven't played far enough into it to really say, oh, that is my favorite. But um, I, I, but, I, yeah. but I but I I know we're I, uh, I know you're working on. So. I, it's, it, I want to, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I am a terrible werewolf GM. I'm good, like flavor-wise, or not flavor-wise. I'm a bad werewolf GM. I really am, guys. I love the game to death, but I'm terrible at running it. I want. I I I love playing it. I want to do more with it. It's. I want to see. I want to uh, play werewolf as someone who shares my opinions of what werewolf should actually be and what it should be about. Which werewolf is one of those games where a million different people have a million different opinions about it. So, uh, so it's really hard to do that. <laughs> uh, it, it is. It is my favorite at one, and I feel like it's not necessarily as story dependent as uh, as uh, a lot of other games what's different is that it's very it has a lot of depth setting wise yeah there um, yeah. there is a lot going on like uh, 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 in the in the lore just innately there's a lot going on i i feel like the uh, how i like to describe werewolf myself is that there's two major types of tabletop role-playing game. There is your more loose, uh, rules flexible, if existent at all, kind of story-based games. And and if they're they're like the white mat, uh, they're like the white mage. And basically, they do the whole uh, they do the whole magics or whatever. And then you have the very rules-heavy, combat and map-oriented kind of dungeon crawler D &D. Uh, type game. Yeah, your D and D's, your uh, at their, uh, your Warhammers, your uh, your games like that, um, Iron Kingdoms, 
That's another one, because that one uses a lot of miniatures and rulers and things like uh, that. Uh, question though, Sam, before you continue. Um, if I attach rockets to my bullets, do they fly faster? Uh, ma uh yes, yes okay. they do. Uh, also, painting things red makes it go Oh, okay. Faster. So what if I paint them, what, what if the bullets... But only if you're an orc. What if the bullets were painted red and had rockets on them? Well, orcs don't usually have access to those. I mean, unless they steal them off a space marine. What if, what if I've, what if <laughs> but I've that's, stolen but that's, <laughs> but, but that's... that's... that's besides the point. Oh, At the end of the day, hammer. everything needs, needs more DACA, but, um... Always needs more DACA. Uh... But, uh... But, uh... uh uh, Try again. But yeah, that's kind of that. That'd be your uh, that'd be your black mage and your black magic stuff. That uh, because you have your super rules heavy intensive and they spell out everything, everything. I like to think that red wolf kind of is or did white wolf and, and old world of darkness stuff is the red mage. Uh, so it kind of walks that that fine line between it very well, and I think if you're going into the, uh, those games uh, for one experience or the other, you're going to end up coming out very disappointed instead of trying if going into it and experience the game as it is, which it's supposed to be kind of a fine line. You don't need maps to play, because you go, I want my character to do this, and you're imagining uh, the map in your head. It, uh, but at the same time, there's enough story and structure to kind of prevent most power game I can't say the word that I was going to say <laughs> because I'm uh, be blank or me. Uh, 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 just, uh, just, uh, uh, just go ahead and use the word shenanigans. That's the what's the what's the word? It's the word I usually use for that. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Uh, there's uh, it has enough kind of spelled out that like a lot of power gaming shenanigans aren't. Really you can still power game in it. I'm not saying it's immune to it. Trust me, I know it's not. But uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what's the? Uh, what's the? Uh, what's the five star combination for everything? It's um, lupus, Arun. Uh, what? Uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the like uh, five five everything. Like, oh, the five phases? Uh, n uh, n uh, no, the like five best, like the like best, the uh, uh, like rage will. Uh, it's a uh, lupus. Lupus Arun get. Yeah. Or it's it's something like that. Yeah. But but yeah. Based, based based on that combination will give you like the like the maximum starting attributes for all three of your core things. It's kind of, your special stats. It's kind of it's kind basically. of bullshit. Yeah, it's uh, there. There are ways to mess around. I'm aware. I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, I'm not saying it's a perfect game, but I'm saying it is my favorite game, and there's a lot I love about it. Now, there is a game that I've been uh, that I've been looking around a lot lately myself, which honestly, it's never gonna replace Werewolf because Werewolf has a lot of sentimental value to me too. On top of being well, my favorite game because yeah, I just love what it's about. But uh, this game, which is actually a game I'm going to be using for this BPRD game, is actually, I super love it. I super love uh, the concept of it. It's very much on the loose story side of gaming, yeah. which, again, I I'm with Rain on this about the best type of games that I super love. Uh, but it's made by one of my favorite game, game designers, and it kind of uh, feels like most of his games, uh, for better or worse, it's just an evolution of what he usually does. And I kind of, I kind of super love it. It's called Demon Hunter, and it's being kind of put out, and it's based on uh, a film by the guys who did the Gamers movies, for those of you who are into tabletop games. Uh, you know, specifically Gamers 2, which was actually filmed at my local game store before it turned into just a miniature's wake fest. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's pretty rad. It, it's it's pretty rad. I super 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 love it. It's uh it, it basically it's got uh, a tribute. Uh, it's got kind of the uh, tribute thing or like the. You kind of write down a short phrase or a concept that kind of uh, fits your character as a whole, and it can give you some 
uh, at some bonuses or negatives depending on the situation. And I, I really like games that have that. It has that, it has kind of a very loose and not too much shoved into it uh, skill system, which I like skill systems to be existent, but at the same time, I don't want to be like, all right, how many skill points do I have? Okay, I put a half a skill point into this. Math time. Cough, cough, D and D. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't want that. Uh, and it has stunts, and I like games with uh, with stunts and stuff. And it looks like it's not that like intensive to run as a GM either, which has always been kind of my thing because I write for a living. I don't also uh, I don't really have enough enemy to do all of that and then write a bunch of stuff for fun. Well, I, well, so, well you write for a living, and you, you don't want to write for fun too. Well, I don't mind writing for fun, but, like, there's a certain level of writing that I, I, I'm acceptable with. Like, I love the Dresden Files game. It looks super fun to play. You have to write a novel to run it, but I, it looks super fun to play. I, Shadowrun's another one of those games that's, like, super, uh, that's super fun to play, but super terrible to run, too. And you talk to any GM, and they will tell you, yeah, Shadowrun's terrible to run. <laughs> Fair enough. It's great to play. It is a fun, fun, fun game to play. I highly recommend any of you guys who are interested in, like, tabletopping to try to get into a Shadowrun game. It'll be a very different first experience than D&D. It truly Especially is. try to get in fifth edition. Yeah, try to, if you can, try to get into a fifth edition game. It's a lot easier and a, uh, a, a, to for beginners, and it's a lot faster startup than fourth edition. But at the same time, holy crap, that is not a fun game to run. Well, you just have to design like all, like all, like all, of, all, all of the internet for every area that we're gonna go to. It's not that bad. Then stat every enemy from scratch. You basically have to create, and then it's just so awful. The... It really is. Uh, there, I, like, I feel like if Shadowrun just put out a book, monster a manual, book of, a book of monsters is what I was gonna say. Yeah, a, yeah, like a. Big book o monsters. That would make uh, that would make running it um, just so much simpler. I understand it's kind of hard to scale that for Shadowrun, but at the same time, it would it would make a world of difference. Well, I can uh, I can uh, I can, uh, I can uh, understand that because a lot goes into character creation, and if you're gonna make like a bunch of goons, you have to make like an individual character for each one of those goons. And then, then, yes, uh, and then, and, one character for all of those goons. And then just copy, and uh, uh, then just copy a pasta the goon over and over. So there's, there's, there's yeah. a lot that has to go into that. So understandable on that one. Yeah. Yeah, but but Demon Hunter seems like all the stuff I liked and wanted to enjoy from the Dressing Files game, and from uh, the Marvel role playing system for those of you. Excuse me, I just was trying to fight a burp for about a minute. Um, uh, it's it, it from the Marvel uh, role-playing system, which was super good, too. And again, both of these games made by Cam Banks. Uh, but it took what I liked out of both of those systems and kind of combined it into one whole thing. The game is in beta. They gave out the beta at Gen Con and stuff, and the Kickstart backers... Uh, recently so if you can find a way to, uh, to get a hold of it please do it, or pick up the book when it comes out it's gonna be worth yeah. it my one complaint about this uh, the, my one complaint about the system is how they do initiative but uh, that that can be something that you guys can homebrew for yourselves and figure out for how you guys like to homebrew I know how I'm gonna be fixing it but I don't want to kind of impose and shove ideas into that if I don't have to it looks like it's gonna end up becoming one of my favorite games, though. In all honesty, I'm just gonna be running it in a slightly different tone than what they suggest. Yeah. Well, I was thumbing through it too, but um, yeah, it, uh, it, uh, it's, uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, it seems pretty, uh, like I'll, 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 I'll like it'll be good. Yeah. I, I, 
But that's, and I really wanted to ask you about uh, about that because I don't think I ever, I, I've ever actually asked you about uh, that. Or gotten a straight answer, if you have asked. Or gotten a straight answer. <laughs> I still don't think I have a straight answer from you, but... <laughs> well, you have more of a straight answer than you've gotten before, so there's that. Exactly. Now, uh, g uh, games that I would I would love to play more of if when I have the ability to kind of do anything <laughs> of my own, uh, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the Iron Claw Jade Claw games. Those are pretty solid games. Uh, I would suggest picking up the new edition if you can. It's kind of hard to gra uh, to get because the only way to do it is through their publisher. Uh, <laughs> But it's those are really solid games. 